and the function blitz continues. Um, again, we're just going to do a bunch of these because it's a really quick way to raise your grade pretty easily on the GED. So this one again, we see again that we've been asked to figure out if the graph represents a function. And we can see our graph here is in this kind of U shape. We call this a parabola. You don't need to know what it's called. Um, but the main thing you need to know here is um, how to test a graph for a function. Um, if you missed the first few videos on this, go back and watch them. There's two before this. But basically what you do to test a graph to see if it's a function is a vertical line test. You sweep a vertical line across the graph and see if you can catch any X cheating. Let me show you what I mean. So like if I had a vertical line right here, I only have one point on this graph. That single x value of, what is it, probably about negative 5.5, um, is only um, at one y point. However, if I moved over and I just got myself another vertical line here, you would see the same vertical line catches my graph in two different places. That means this x value of negative 4 is paired with two different output or two different y values. I caught an input value, an x, cheating with two different y's and remember that's kind of my little joke your x's need to be faithful for this is for this to be a function now i could keep going and catch a lot of places where this x is cheating but i don't need to the second i can find one spot where the same x is seeing more than one y the same x value has more than one y value then um I can say that this is not a function. So does the following graph represent a function? No, it failed a vertical line test.